These are three types of toxic players in Warzone. If you do any of these things, I hate you. But if you're subscribed to my channel, then I don't hate you. It kind of balances itself out. Also, please don't take too much offense in this video if you do these things, because I'm sure we've all been accused of doing every single one of these things at least once, including myself, actually. So that means I hate myself. You see? This is what Warzone does to you, kids. You hate yourself more, the more you play it. And this video is just supposed to be funny, not serious. So just sit back, enjoy, and laugh it off with me. For the first one, we have people that go prone every time they get into a gunfight. You know what I'm talking about. The people that just lie down the moment you start shooting at them. Also known as the drop shot. Listen, if you do this, it does not mean you're skilled at the game. You just know that the people who do drop shots think they are the best players at Call of Duty. And you can tell me all you want that your success rate of winning a gunfight increases when you do this. But all that really means is that you just suck at playing the game normally. But hey, your playstyle dictates that you're good at drop shotting. You can't change that. But it also dictates that you suck at running and gunning if your success rate is lower doing that. Plus, you just look like a doofus doing this. I mean, just look at you, you doofus. Everyone's laughing at you. So stop it. All right, all right, enough. We'll go on to the next one. All right then, the second one. Just people that do bounties. Like, why? Like, if you're trying to get money fast, do a scavenger mission, jeez. You just know. You know people that do bounties only do it just because they're that thirsty for one kill. <coughs> Listen, everyone. If you've never played Warzone before, let me just be frank with you. 99.9999. 9999% of players care more about getting kills than actually winning the game. That is the nature of this game. You can ask anybody. Anybody. That they'd rather have a 10 kill game than an actual battle royale win. For those of you who don't know, bounties are just missions that mark a general location of a random player close to you on the map. If you kill him or he dies on his own, then you get money. Simple as that. You can see where this is going. Most of the time, these targets will be prepared by camping in a really good location or will be in a really hard spot to reach. But players that do bounties don't care. They'll risk everything for that potential one kill. So this is where it gets annoying when they're on my team, not just when I'm the target. They don't care about the money. They don't care about their teammates. They don't care if they risk the entire game as long as they can potentially get that one kill. There have been plenty of times when I'm the target on a quad game, and this bounty guy, knowing full well that we have the upper advantage by like 30 times, will definitely come up the stairs we're all staring at and die. But hey, it's worth it if it works one out of every 10 times, right? Listen, that's literally the success rate. Nine times out of 10, I kill the hunters. Not the other way around. But it's still annoying that people do it without my control, especially when my own teammate picks up the mission. All right, all right, let's move on. And the last type of toxic player in Warzone goes to, okay, you were definitely expecting this one to come off. Those people, the ones who try to shoot you out of the sky on the initial drop. If I got this, this defines toxic. You know who you are. Listen, I've done this a couple times myself, and I'm not gonna lie, I felt dirty and toxic when I did this. And normally I don't care at all about my opponent whatsoever on how I beat him in the gunfight. But when I do this, man, I can't help but feel bad. Because most of the time it's out of their control and they're completely defenseless. And then it feels the worst when you just waited that five minutes to load up the next match, five minutes for the pregame lobby, and then watch that annoying cutscene before the drop, only to die before you're even given the chance to play the game. Oh my gosh, people. If you do this regularly, then there really is no hope for you in this world. In fact, I'm more concerned with your inability to feel any sympathy for the person you just victimized. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Most of the time you can avoid the situation, but sometimes they have their teammates helping them out with it. My gosh, I've seen squads of four mark an enemy in the sky and they all just start blasting away at it. At that point, this player has literally no chance of survival. And if all four players coordinate this well enough, they can guarantee a kill like every time. Kudos on your teamwork though, it's not an easy thing to master. But just know that you've ruined the Warzone experience for some kid at some point. Alright, that's it for this video. I plan on doing more of these types of videos in the future, so comment down below what other kinds of toxic players that you've experienced in Warzone, or any other game for that matter. Also, share this video to a friend if they've been accused of doing any of these things in this video. And if you are that friend who's watching, just know that you've made it into my toxic players list.